Psalm 78 verse 1 to 72 through the Bible. Psalm 78. Theme: The history of Israel from Moses to David. This psalm is a maskil of Asaph, a psalm of instruction covering Israel's history from Egypt to the time of David. In it we see the failure of the people and the faithfulness of God. It is a wonderful psalm, and it calls upon God to hear and answer. First, it is the call of God to His people. He asks His people to listen to Him. Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. Psalm 78 verse 1 This is a long psalm, and we can only hit the high points but I urge you to read the entire psalm in your Bible. It will bless your heart. The children of Ephraim, being armed and carrying bows, turned back in the day of battle. They kept not the covenant of God and refused to walk in His law. Psalm 78 verses 9 and 10 This is a direct reference to when Ephraim did not go to battle and God took note of it. In a larger sense, Ephraim is typical of the conduct of all Israel and of all of God's people. It was Israel then. It is the church today. And God's faithfulness is unchanged. And they sinned yet more against Him by provoking the Most High in the wilderness. And they tempted God in their heart by asking meat for their lust. Yea, they spake against God. They said, Can God furnish a table in the wilderness? Psalm 78 verse 17 to 19. Let me translate this a little differently to bring out the meaning. And they sinned yet more against him by provoking the Most High in the wilderness. And they tested God in their heart by asking food according to their desire. Yes, they spoke against God. They said, Can God furnish a table in the wilderness? This represents the type of unbelief that is seen among believers today. It is practical atheism on the part of God's people. Now notice what God did. Man did eat angels' food. He sent them meat to the full. Psalm 78 verse 25 Angels' food is better translated food of the mighty. Man did eat the food of the mighty. He sent them food to the full. He gave them all that they needed. Yet they were doubting God and criticizing God. This psalm of instruction concludes with this allusion to David. He chose David also his servant and took him from the sheepfolds. From following the ewes great with young, he brought him to feed Jacob his people and Israel his inheritance. So he fed them according to the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands. Psalm 78 verse 70 to 72 David is a type of him who is David's Lord and David's Son. God was faithful to them, and He is faithful to us today, my friend.